stream uh, welcome back to the stream welcome back to another video today today we're gonna talk about did the tesla price cuts work and what i mean by worked did it work in a different way in a sense that it did it spike up demand did it spike up interest and spoiler alert it, it certainly did and also and also model y deliveries it's now showing or well, maybe not now showing but it's showing march 2023 and some feedback that i've been getting from a couple of people i've talked to because it seems like there's you know a variety of date ranges for model threes for people that have placed orders recently and so uh, certainly it looks like like demand has is back for Tesla that's for sure but specifically only really only like the Model Y at this point so we're going to jump into that if you are new here if you're just joining this to the stream and the channel my name is Dennis and I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it but basically just getting the best Yone Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla so if you're interested in any of that please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel, but more on that later. So let's let's just take a look at this. This is where it kind of inspired this topic. So this is an article for Market Watch, and it says Tesla price cuts spur jump in interest, Edmund says. So taking a look at it, of course, we, we all know about this point, but Tesla lowered the prices like crazy across the board. And uh, spoiler alert, you know, demand, demand went up. You can see uh, clicks on Tesla vehicle pages on Edmunds rose 4% on all research automakers during the week of ending in uh, January 15th, more than double the week prior. Edmunds said Model Y, the Tesla Model Y was the second most researched automotive on the site over the time after the Honda CRV, make marking a jump from number 70 the slot prior week. Model 3 was the 11th most researched vehicle, Edmund said, moving up 36 slots. Appraisals also rose sharply as Tesla owners look for more information on the impact of the Tesla price cuts. So that's interesting. So it looks like more people were searching for Model Ys, more people were searching for Model 3s. But the third thing was more people were appraising their vehicles, submitting their vehicles, their value worths to Edmunds to figure out like, what is my Tesla worth at this point? Or maybe they're trying to see, could they sell theirs to buy a new one with all the different discounts that were going out there? So certainly makes sense. But another tool that we can kind of track this is Google Trends. Google has this cool tool where you can actually throw in keywords and look at it on a national uh, or even, I think you can go, even know yeah national perspective to see you know are a lot of people searching for this so i put in tesla of course that's a pretty broad term because you know there's all these different vehicles and stuff like that so let's put in tesla model y and see if there and look at that there was a huge jump this past like few days because of course the price discount so if we put in model three let's see it kind of the same thing a lot of interest coming back to the back into the game there so let's let's look at like tesla let's get pretty granular model model y sr and you see if that will actually trigger okay yeah a little little jump there as well and then let's do model y more model 3 lr to see if there's uh, okay so interesting so nothing there so model 3 long range kind of spiked down a little bit there so not not as much interest on this key term at the end of the day. But this is what something I've also noticed on the website. This has been saying March 2023 for the Model Y. And then of course, if you switch it to Model Y performance, it switches to February. So this is what I've kind of gathered from people that I've talked to because I've every, anybody that actually schedules a call with me down below in the Patreon, if you want to schedule one, anybody that actually schedules a call with me, I ask them like, what's your delivery date range and time frame? What is Tesla actually selling you? And it seems like I'm getting answers anywhere from like March 9th through March, uh, sorry, February 9th through March 9th. And also like a Mar February 15th to March 15th. So, you know, be very careful. I would say if you do have a Model Y on order and your order is not matched to a VIN, try, you know, everything you can to try and get your order matched to a VIN ASAP because the worst First thing that could happen is your delivery gets pushed past into mid-March, late March, or even April, and this tax credit portion gets completely changed because the IRS, the Treasury, certainly might come out at some point and release more information on that, which could 
you know, cut that EV tax credit in half for the Model 3 or Model Y. And, you know, that could be a worse uh, situation for you. Uh, that's for sure. So definitely that's kind of like my PSA on it. Um, so, you know, be, 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 wor- be wary out there. Be, be wary uh, because, you know, we don't know what exactly could happen. So I'm going to put, I think I put a poll on this as well. I want to see, let's see, because like, I want to see uh, like the are people actually comparing it or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically that's it. So anyways, let's jump in some of the comments and some of the questions. Uh, I'm sorry, it's getting a little late. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, we are going to be back tomorrow as well. Thank you for joining on the stream and thanks for joining the channel. But let's jump in some of the comments and questions. Maraha, they are decreasing destination fee and they already increased the price of the charger. That is why I like to take delivery sooner and later. It seems like they're looking for ways to get more money. Yeah, exactly. On the flip side, I am aware that prices can go down further. No one knows. Yeah, no one knows exactly. Dennis, it's Aaron. Everything you do is amazing. Thank you, Darren. Uh, thank you. That's for sure. Thanks for dro- coming in and dropping that comment. Definitely appreciate it. Chris, people are ranting about price drop. Given the situation, I don't, th- I don't think there will be another price drop. Yeah, I mean, never say never, right? I mean, we've got, you know, tons. I mean, tons relatively or tons of Model 3 inventory. It's starting to creep up just a little bit and then we also have you know model y inventory as well like of course not not necessarily creeping up a little bit but kind of just staying stagnant it's not selling out and you know there was there was times when tesla was selling out of course like maybe those times were in a different time where materials weren't coming in frequently and all that stuff but you know we could well, I, I'm not sure what the goal, right, of Tesla sales executives are. Are they just, they don't want to keep any inventory all, at all? They just want to produce and then sell right away? Or what is their goal for balance? Or do they want to keep some inventory so that they can sell on when it, you know, sits there for a little bit? I mean, no, no, we don't know exactly. I mean, I would assume they don't want to keep inventory on their lots for as long at all. But uh, who knows at this point. Eric, I don't think the IRS will enforce the rules of the battery minerals until April and May. The rules may come out in March, but there should be a grace period up beforehand. The government is slow. Yeah, I mean, that, that could certainly make sense. But, you know, Tesla's got to have more information than we do. And there's got to be a reason why they put this. It says until March 23, deliveries March 2023. So... I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could be you could be 100% right, but well, I guess we're just reading what Tesla says here. Misty and the Tesla employees too actually will damage a lot in the company if they keep their horrible attitude. Yeah, Tesla employees, yeah, I, I can certainly see where you're coming from. We don't know if this was written by like one Tesla employee or multiple, like a copy paste or some sort of like PR statement. But this was uh, what we were talking about in our first topic in the video and how Tesla responds to recent price changes. And they basically says, and at the end of the day, we do not offer retroactive price adjustments, unfortunately. So, um, uh, but that's what, you know, why we created this uh, change.org petition, because we want to see if Tesla, we want to make a voice, uh, give a voice that uh, we, Tesla should do and give something to the customers out there that, uh, you know, purchase last year or purchase with a higher price within quarter three, quarter four. That's what I would say. Full, I would say just give full, you know, trial, full self-driving at the day. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Please hit that like if you enjoy it. Actually, one more thing. Lance, I took delivery of a Model Y long range December 23. I got screwed out of 13K. While I do enjoy the Model Y, I will forever hate the Tesla company and I will continue to bad mouth Tesla to anyone that will listen. Listen, but your channel is still cool with me. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. Yeah, I mean, that's why I feel like they Tesla would give something. Lance, what, what would you want from Tesla? I mean, of course, like, you know, asking for the discount is is tough, but like, would you, would you think it would be cool if they gave you full self-driving as a trial for, you know, one to two years to try and get you excited? on the technology and stuff like that because i mean they would or or do they give you full self-driving plus 10,000 supercharger credit or something like that um you know who knows right miggy if you take delivery anytime during march you will potentially not get the 7500 tax credit it's not necessarily that it's more so the irs and treasurer are supposed to release more guidelines on which vehicles actually qualify and you know 
We don't know if it's like if they release it on March 1, vehicles become disqualified on March 1. Uh, but that's kind of what happened last year in like August or November when they released the new Inflation Reduction Act. So I would just be if if you're trying to lock in that $7,500 tax credit, try and take delivery ASAP, if not this month or February at the end of the day. But thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like if you enjoy it. Thanks for joining on this late Thursday night stream and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.